Hello and welcome to Case of the Day. So today we're going to describe and discuss an interesting uh, scenario that came in today. Uh, and I have my uh, optical person, optical optician, Heather in today because we're going to talk about glasses. And so what happened today was we had a person who came in, we gave them a prescription for their glasses and they're over age 50 or so and they need a bifocal. So we discussed about getting a no-line bifocal, or what's called a progressive bifocal, because it gives you the ability to see different distances, from distance to intermediate to close. But when you get that kind of bifocal, it's extremely important you get the right brand and the right fit for them to work. Because I've, you hear all kinds of complaints about people, I tried those, they didn't work. And so, um, they didn't work because they didn't get the right brand and they didn't get them fit, fit correctly. So we're going to go over what that's about and why it makes a difference. For just regular glasses, like you don't need any glass prescription, you're just, you just need a reading glass, the little cheater over the counter things are fine. But when you, want, when you need a prescription for distance or you want to wear glasses all the time and have a bifocal in it, then the progressive no-line bifocal gives you the best result. And so now we're going to describe why people have trouble. This lady still had 20-20 vision when she came in the office, but she complained, I just can't see right in these things. There's just something doesn't feel right. I can't see to the side. It doesn't seem like I, it just doesn't seem like there's something right with them. And I'm having trouble reading. I can't find the spot to read in these things. And so then Heather's going to go over a little bit about what the difference between one brand is and another and why that happens. So go ahead. Okay, so we talk about progressives and if people don't know what progressives are, I'm going to draw a little picture so you guys understand. So you picture you have a lens here and how progressives work is your prescription is ground in like an hourglass. So like Dr. Crowley was saying, this progressive gives you all fields of vision, your distance up top, your reading at the bottom, and your intermediate in the middle. That's good for like computer, your speedometer on the car, all that stuff that's like an arm's length away. Um, so since the prescription is ground in this way, you do have what we call a peripheral distortion. That's where we teach people with progressives. We like you to point your nose at what you want to look at and learn to raise and lower your chin to focus into the channel because you will lose a little bit on your peripheral. So this is the basic concept on how a progressive works. So this young lady that Dr. Crowley was talking about um, obviously you know, went and got a progressive and what we try to do is fit what we call premium lenses and they take the same type of, of fitting because again any progressive you get is fit the same way. Um, we use premium lenses so what happens is um, they're digitally surfaced so they start out wider, they still curve in like an hourglass and then they shoot right out again. So you're still getting that hourglass shape, you have a lot more distance, a ton more intermediate, and then the biggest thing is your reading is, is really more on a peripheral um, level. So therefore this little area of distortion is much less than what you see here. Now again, um, you know, we're not saying that these, you know, you can't get these, but if you want your best vision, who wants to have to constantly turn their head and really try to find that one sweet spot to make you be able to read or see, so you want to go with something like this that you have a wider area of vision, like that channel. So. Okay, and if you see the other thing is, is this channel on this type of lens is very narrow. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why fitting is so important because if you don't have this lined up with your pupil and you try to look down to see through this, then you're hitting all this distortion and people have become uncomfortable with those. Yeah. So um, with this, it's still important with the higher quality lens. It's still important as far as fit goes, but there's a little more give and the peripheral part is a lot better. I have actually some progressive bifocals that I wear in the office to do my work uh, and I can tell you that the newer latest brand of these high level lenses, mm -hmm. the peripheral part of these is excellent, especially with now the digital capability of making this lens. Actually this has gotten so sophisticated that they take the measurement of where your pupil sits in the frame. Yeah. And then they account for the frame measurements like that too. And so then the company that makes this lens knows exactly what that frame is and they actually form a digital file 
of exactly how to grind the lens. And this lens is now not grinded by a human being, mm -hmm. but this lens is now inserted into a machine, and that computer file exactly designs that lens perfectly to fit in your particular frame. So the quality is getting much better. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about no-line progressive bifocals, and you're talking about wearing these glasses maybe for two, three, four, or five years, to go and try to find some cheap price for one of these, it's just not worth it because the quality of the vision is just going to be much better. And so if you have your neighbor told you, I tried those and they didn't work, or you have yourself experienced this and say, I couldn't get used to those, there, is, there are options to make this better. Yeah. So if you have any questions, you can try to email us or contact us through the website. And uh, we hope you uh, have a great day, and may God bless you with great healthy eyes and great vision.